Wrestler, quick striking. Kind of another uh, striker versus grappler matchup we have here tonight. Yeah, Rowan for the most part. A, more of a boxer and Wright being more of a grappler. Yeah, I think this is one of the few cases where you're really going to see a mixed martial artist in both of them tonight. Uh, you know, Cliff has really shown a very improved striking in his last couple of Bellator, in the last couple of Bellator fights he had in Rojas' ground game. He's actually been using a lot of that lately. Uh, both guys coming off a tough loss. Uh, both guys are going to be hungry to get them back on the winning streak here tonight for sure. Yeah, Robert Rojas coming off a tough loss to uh, Zach Jusola at uh, RFA. Uh, unable to defend the takedown. Uh, got up plenty of times, just had a hard time stopping the takedown. Uh, very even striking. Zach Jusola, very talented fighter, fought for RFA title. You know, really spent, uh, Rojas spent a, quite a bit of time at uh, Glory MMA getting ready for this fight. Got really good, talented sparring partners to train with. Grant the Prophet Dawson, 9-0, cornering him tonight. Uh, Longtime coach Jeff Alexander. Rojas originally out of Grand Island, Nebraska. Now residing in Lincoln for the last uh, probably three to four years. Heavy-handed, tough, durable. Tough losses to uh, Drew Dober and Ted Worthington, where he was uh, showing really good striking and got caught. He, uh, he always comes to fight, though, that's for sure. He always uh, goes down swinging. Yeah, he's a real gamer. Uh, doesn't know the meaning of going backwards. Look for him to press the pace. Uh, Cliff Wright will probably work more circling. Probably not going to uh, press the pace against the much larger uh, Rojas. Uses speed. Fans are definitely going to get their money's worth tonight from this main event alone, and we've had plenty of good fights tonight. Yeah, two talented fighters, and honestly, whoever wins this, you know, it's two really big veterans. It's going to be tough. You know, whoever loses could end up retiring, you know, but really who wins is back there in the spotlight. Uh, Rojas at 34 and uh, Cliff Wright at 37. going to come down to a tough brawl. Who wants it more? The uh, lightweight title is on the line here tonight in Lincoln, Nebraska. This fight is scheduled for five, five in the rounds for the D.C. Lightweight Championship. It is brought to you by the Nebraska Lottery. For all those watching on MMAFutures.com and right here in Lincoln, Nebraska, are you ready for one? <laughs> Introducing first fighting out of the winner's circle, Auto Center Blue Corner. This freestyle fighter stands 5'11", weighing in at 155 pounds, holding a professional record, 9 wins, 7 losses. Training out of Team Hard Drive and fighting out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Cliff the Goblin Wright Jr. His opponent across the cage fighting out of the Nebraska Lottery Red Court is a freestyle fighter standing 5'10", weighing into 155 pounds, holding a professional record, 10 wins, 5 losses. Training out of Pinnacle Sports and Fitness and Glory MMA in Fitness, fighting out of Lincoln Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Lincoln, Nebraska, Robert Tito Rojas! You have reason big fitness. I could personally vouch that uh, Robert Rojas is a you know hard hitter. I've done some uh, sparring rounds with him myself, and uh, he oh, definitely uh, throws some hard strikes, and he's got very technical boxing. Yeah, really crisp hands. Uh, spent a lot of time working on his leg kicks lately. Um, really opened up his striking game. Be a good test for him to take on the Bellator veteran, uh, Cliff Wright Jr. Body kick by Rojas. Establishing his reign with that jab. Body kick by Wright. They tie up. Good knee from Cliff entering that. Driving that left underhook. Look to Robert. Pummeling his. Starts spinning him up. He's a jack his left underhook up to put uh, Cliff right against the cage. Cliff going for that double unders.
coming out of Team Hard Drive, very well-versed fighters, a lot of tough-nosed wrestlers, but um, very experienced uh, strikers and grapplers. But a lot of tough fighters coming out of that gym in the past. There he Robert goes, reverses him, gets him on Jacks the cage. Jacks the right underhook. Look for Robert to start pummeling. Uh, maybe get into a tie clinch. He honestly might just break off and uh, look to open up his strike some more. Yeah, I feel like uh, Rojas is more comfortable in the uh, striking game, and that's where he's going to want to keep this fight for the most part. Really willing to pummel with uh, Cliff Wright. Ooh, good. Shoulder movement. I think Robert's kind of the bigger fighter, though, here, and if he can bully him up against the cage, that's not a bad way to go either. Good turn from Cliff Wright as uh, Robert Doug. Robert turns him back, gets him on the cage again. Both fighters exerting a lot, pummeling into this. Ooh, I think Cliff thinks he got hit low. Yeah, he's wincing in pain here. I'm going to see if the ref stops it. Must have been a clean shot. I think Rojas is yelling something at him. Talking a little smack in the clinch here. Maybe. Now right has talking him up smack, against the trying cage. to get a get going. Wright shoots for the takedown. Gets him on, gets him on his back and guard. Rojas oh, stands up. Robert's got to be careful. Get his back straight to the, uh, straight to the cage, kind of. Uh, and he's got to be careful here. He's got to be careful. You know, Wright's a very good submission uh, specialist, and Rojas has yeah, uh, got to be smart. Is to cut the corner. Put his back straight to the cage. Use it to get his right underhook. Cliff Wright using a real veteran move, getting that. Holding that arm. Yeah. See if he can get free and uh, face him. If he can just break his uh, grip on that wrist and face him, he will be uh, in a good position here. Yeah, Robert needs to keep those hips in. He could catch a really clean knee if he's not careful. There he goes. There he goes. He uh, broke the grip, and now he's uh, in the dominant position here up against the cage. Kind of surprised that the majority of this first round has been in the clinch. You know, even from both guys, you didn't think that was uh, either guy's game plan. But, you know, I think the fact that they're really rotating position as far as who's against the cage and that is what's kept the ref from breaking them apart. Yeah, but you know, a lot I of back Robert and forth. Needs to, with this last 50 seconds, really needs a takedown or something because that takedown of Cliff Wright, I think, is really going to separate right now in the judges' minds with a uh, pretty even for sure, with an even first round like we saw, that takedown would probably make the difference of the judges' scorecards here. He's gonna need a, let's get this last takedown. He's got 30 seconds to uh, work he a takedown here. Pick that ankle like he went for. Watch for the switch from uh, Cliff Wright. Very close round. It's going to be real tight. Honestly, uh, I'd have to probably give it to Cliff Wright. I think that takedown is just going to separate it. It's so small of a change. The The hard part is that you're alternating positions so much. Either one really, you know, some small strikes uh, in the clinch, kind of really even. So you kind of cancel that out. I have to agree that takedown is going to be the decider. No major strikes were landed by either guys. And uh, I, I would think that takedown would be the decider between who won that round. But uh, more in store, see you soon. Every month.
Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen. I'm kind of curious if the second round is going to be similar with kind of a clinch back and forth, or if they're going to they're going to work to maybe do a little more uh, Muay Thai or maybe even a little more grappling in the mix. Not quite sure what uh, Robert's plan is. Being the bigger fighter, he might he might be welcome in the clinch, thinking he'd wear on uh, Cliff Wright, but truthfully, it's uh, clinch is proving very even. Cliff's been able to hang in uh, close quarters. For sure, for sure. So, honestly, both fighters might just test their striking, uh, knowing that the clinch didn't work too well. And really, the wrestling kind of canceled each other out. Both guys looking still fresh. Honestly, looking really loose now. Kind of caught their paces. Yeah, they, they kind of realize that they're in a fight, and uh, the jitters are kind of gone. And now it's just kind of time to go at it. I think Cliff really needs to get to working on his lateral motion. Look for Robert to start getting his uh, combos going. Usually, typically likes to throw his combos going forward. So. Good Robert, and Robert just keep moving forward and, and relentless with the kicks. and Does need to disguise them a little bit though with his hands. He can't go both. I think he just slipped. It's a little tripped up, but back to his feet right away. And uh, right lands a good light kick. Both guys already really sweaty, so um, grappling could prove difficult if this goes to the ground. Jab misses. Good slip by Robert Rojas. Starting to get his hands going. Good leg kick from Robert. Both, both guys are doing a good job of getting away out of the big punches and slipping, but uh, yeah, really good, good stand-up from both from guys. Robert. Liking the head movement, makes him guess. I'd like to see him mix. He's got good kicks. He's throwing them really well. I'd like to see him start mixing his hands and his kicks together. For sure. Um, especially so he doesn't Oh, good, oh, good. Start to connect. By Rojas. He's really found his range. I think Cliff Wright really needs to get going on that lateral motion to kind of get out of. Had nowhere to run on the cage get out of uh, Robert Rojas's range. Start getting guess. Ooh, really surprised. Good takedown by Robert Rojas. Good takedown, kind of surprised he went for that though. Yeah, now he's kind of going into where uh, Wright's game here, but uh, you know, we can't count out Rojas on the ground. He's a very good wrestler and uh, very strong, very strong uh, takedown artist. So, on the clinch up against the cage again. Some body shots. Goes for another takedown here. Yeah, he's just got to hand fight this. They clinch yeah, up Cliff, again. Cliff Wright does not want to be on now the, right uh, on the cage right now. Robert now with the uh, has him up against the cage. Good, Good body knees. See if he uses it. Could go right, for looking the, a little uh, frustrated. Uh, starting to make some small mistakes. Robert proving very well conditioned, a lot bigger. Size is starting to play a uh, play a role yeah. in these clinches. Oh, landed a nice left hook. hook. Nice left hook. I think uh, Wright's starting to kind of slow down a little bit and uh, looks a little little fatigued, a little tired here in late in round number two. Yeah, not pummeling as well. Uh, Robert's been able to get the double underhooks a lot better. I think he's kind of hitting his stride. I wonder if size is playing a key in this, you know, if he's got to kind of make up for the size difference with using more and expending more energy in the clinch, if that's starting to wear on him. Yeah, he hung with him in the first, and now he's starting to not be able to hang in the clinch in the second. Oh. And uh, Robert looks like he's looking for that single leg again. Abandons it for a body lock. You know, those knees don't look like much to someone maybe watching, but they, they do take a toll on you uh, throughout the fight here, whether they're to the uh, out, outer thigh Robert or might the body. Break off here and go for an elbow. Look for really likes that elbow off the break, off the clinch break. Thirty seconds left. 
Like to see him use these double underhooks to get the takedown. Kind of end on a good note, though he should have this, Roberts should have this round one pretty clear. Yeah, I'd say he was the aggressor in this uh, round for the most part, and uh, he's why he's got him ahead in this round. Yeah, not just the aggressor, but just starting to get the better end of uh, exchanges. Caught his range, and I think it's starting to make uh, Cliff Wright slow down. Starting to use his size to his advantage and kind of bully him up against the cage very effectively here. Still looking at prob most likely a 1-1 uh, score right now. This is still anyone's fight after uh, two rounds of uh, hard fighting. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the DC Lightweight Championship. I do think Robert Rowe has, has a little bit more momentum going into this third round with uh, his performance in that last one. Yeah, Cliff seems to be fading up, having a little bit of issues hanging with the strength of the larger fighter. I know Cliff fought 45 before, so I don't, and I don't know how his weight cut went, nor do I really know how Robert goes. Um, cuts a lot of weight, I know. Uh, Robert is a very large lightweight, lightweight. Very. Gets up to about a 190 uh, when he's not fully in camp. Usually about 180, 185 when he is in camp. You know, don't count the vet out though in uh, Cliff Wright. He's just kind of got to regroup. Like to see more lateral motion out of him. Robert honestly just go forward. He's shown really good striking and has found his range. Good leg kick from right out of the gate. Exchange Robert the returns kicks. the favor with his own. Right, starting to kind of move around a little more. He looks a little bit lot loose in this round than he did in round two. Yeah. Some good leg kicks. I really would have liked to see uh, Cliff Robert go for these a little one. earlier. Good dig for the doubles off that hook. Grant Dawson calling for Robert to get his hands kind of going the overhand and then going to the leg kick maybe. Cliff Wright's hands dropping a little bit uh, from their natural position. A little more head movement out of though out of him though this round. Robert's still keeping his head movement. You know, Robert's shown a very steady pace in these last three rounds. He hasn't sped up or slowed down, it doesn't seem like. Just very steady pace. Yeah, you know, I think that could really now take another a, takedown from Rojas. Yeah, Cliff Wright a really good submission game, but uh, I could personally vouch. Robert tends to sweat quite a bit. Uh, it's going to get even harder and harder as the rounds are going on. That does play a huge role in the submission game when two guys are uh, sweaty and you, easier to slip out. Cliff getting up, though. You know, I think he really needs to find another solution. Uh, maybe shoot for a takedown himself. Because uh, he's losing this clinch battle and he's losing the outside striking. So he needs to get, I'd like to see Cliff get his uh, outside striking going into a takedown. Robert just doing what he's doing. Bigger fighter and, and, and he's showing it tonight, you know. Yeah, he's keeping a really good game plan. He's mixed up a lot. And that's frustrating too when you uh, use all that energy to get back Ooh, up like and another this. guy can just return you to the mat right away. I would really want to see him get this uh, wing on this right. Takes his back. for Robert to get the ground and pound going if he can get a wrist. This is not a good uh, spot for uh, right here. You can see the exhaustion in right right now. Rojas Frustration also yeah. on his face. Rojas I mean. keeping him guessing. He doesn't really know what he's going to do. The hard part is, too, is Robert's really winning the grappling, the striking, and the wrestling now, and it's kind of, what do I go to? And what a lot of people don't talk about in MMA is the advantage of kind of fighting in your corner. You know, your coach is right there to kind of walk you through everything, where Wright's got his coach across the cage. You can hear Dr. Grant Dawson uh, coaching Rojas and encouraging him through this fight. Get him very clear instructions, too. Grant Dawson, a very young and very successful fighter himself, 9-0 at only 21 years old. 
Yeah, after a very successful amateur career too. He goes into the tie clinch. I mean, and this is a good spot for Robert. Like I said, he's in his, he's by his corner, and, and he's the bigger fighter. And, and if he can hold him against the cage and get some good strikes and takedowns, I mean, he, he could uh, easily win this fight if he continues this successfully. It's one of Robert's signatures is covering the mouth with his hand and kind of as a good distraction. Uh, working the body, taking even more out of uh, Cliff Wright. And those will wear on you over time. Cliff Wright trying to get to the center. Oh, Cliff oh there he goes. Got he got the turn, against. and he gets turned right back. You can see he's losing this. Previously, the first round, he was able to keep turning with him. He just can't hang with him in the clinch anymore. He might have used all, a lot of his strength just keeping up with him. And that's where being the bigger fighter uh, has a huge advantage in MMA. You know, it, you might just think it's a few pounds, but, I mean, it uh, definitely makes a difference. It's the reason weight classes exist. Very. Yeah, I look for Robert to keep up the same in the third round. That's Looking the about uh, two, one end now. of round number three. All right, round number four on our way. Good leg kick by Robert Rojas. Body kick. Another leg kick landed. Robert definitely utilizing those leg kicks when they're not in the clinch. Robert keeping a very good pace here for round number four. Another yeah, he was able kick. to push his pace in the first couple rounds, and he, uh, I think he came in with a plan of what he was going to do, and uh, currently has followed it to a T. You know, honestly, if I'm Cliff Wright, I'm looking for a shot maybe on the outside to a takedown because he can't really get it off the clinch, it seems. He hasn't seemed too eager to take this fight to the ground. Uh, he, he, other than the first round, you know, it's it's like he wants to be in the clinch and standing, but uh, Robert's definitely getting the better of him in, in both. Well, the other thing, too, as sweaty as they are getting, uh, getting a submission might be very difficult. For sure, for sure. Some nasty knees by Rojas. Ooh, good shots to the legs. Starts slowing right down even more. Robert doing an excellent job of keeping his forehead and his chin and keeping them pinned up against the cage. Uh, tick, tapping away with uh, small shots into the takedown. Locked up. Oh, Locked nice up. takedown. Right to the back. Takes his back. I like to see him get right back to it. Rojas shows no signs of slowing down, even he uh, halfway through round four. Yeah, he's just got to keep him guessing. Would like to see him hold on though on that takedown. Ooh. I've been put through a Rojas uh, fight camp and it definitely separates the men from the boys. He does not mess around when it comes to conditioning. Not at all. Yeah, one of the hardest workers in the room. Something to be said for the heart, though, and the uh, determination of uh, Cliff Wright, though. You know, he's been kind of bullied this whole fight, and, uh, you know, he, he's hanging in there, fighting back, you know, being the smaller fighter. Yeah, I think right now he's going to have to figure out either way, like um, might have heard in the crowd, is to get off the cage. Um, submission's going to be really tough right now for him. 
Uh, he's going to have to probably go for broke on a knockout or something because uh, he's losing this round. He'll go down 3-1 at and, best. And uh, Robert Stain in the clinch, though, that's, uh, that definitely uh, lessens the odds of getting knocked out from a wild punch or something like that, though. So this is uh, where he feels comfortable, and this is game plan so far working for him. Yeah, in his previous fights, he had gotten caught with kind of a wild punch. Um, Ted Worthington caught him with a, uh, what ended up being an elbow off a spinning back fist. Caught the elbow of that coming in, and then a uh, uh, wide hook from uh, Drew Dober back in the day in victory. Once again, so, Robert has him up against the cage in his corner with Grant Dawson giving him clear instructions yeah, walking him through this fight. a very good job keeping it on his half of the cage. Not hearing a lot of things really out of uh, Vedabo's corner too much. Cliff shooting for the takedown now. And he gets it, but Robert's right back to his feet, but has his back, a return to the mat. Yeah, Robert's got to keep moving. Cliff will have to He's use showing this. a good burst of energy here. I hope it's not all he has left in the tank, though, because, you know, we still have Robert's another round to go. Be careful when he comes up on this elbow. Yeah, he couldn't get arm triangles. And that's got to be frustrating for uh, Cliff, right, though, the, the, to try, you know, have a burst of energy like that and not really do anything with yeah, it. it might have been his last ditch effort. And I mean, mentally, I mean, he knows he's got another round ahead of him, too. And he knows He'll he's got to get a finish. Something different in the third or in the fifth. Round number four in the books. Getting ready for the fifth and final round. The uh, lightweight title is on the line. Yeah, I look for uh, Cliff Wright to really open up at the start of the first, fifth round. Uh, look for maybe Robert to keep, continue doing what he's doing. I'd like to see him. He'll probably go for the clinch. Uh, up five rounds already. Uh, he just needs to be really careful going into the fifth. I think uh, uh, Cliff Wright will come out a little wild. Definitely Wilder. needs to avoid the wild punches and uh, any kind of last ditch effort uh, guillotine or other submission attempt. Yeah. I think maybe Cliff might go for like a head kick. We're going set to a lot of body kicks round. in the Nebraska previous round. Some noise. He's showing a lot of heart. He's been getting frustrated and is, uh, you know, he hasn't had too much success. He's here. He's going to be looking for a way to win somehow. His best shot is um, probably the knockout. It's gonna be tough to submit Rojas in the fifth round. I think Rojas just kind of get his spots. I'd like to see him in the clinch in wrestling like he did previously, but Cliff will open up. He might be able to uh, capitalize on a good shot. And yeah, Cliff is looking a little uh, slow. You know, he's getting a little slower every round where Rojas has kind of kept a steady pace too, so. Yeah, I wanna see Rojas get his head movement going again like he had in previous rounds. But, uh, Ro you know, Robert still has to keep on his aim game. It's never over till it's over in MMA. Very. Keeps his hands moving, kind of get Cliff uh, guessing a bit. Yeah, watch for the head kick. Good leg kick by uh, Cliff Wright, but those aren't going to win him the fight. Yeah, I would have liked to see him go for those more in the first couple rounds. Maybe it's seen it a little bit different, but Rojas basically has uh, imposed his game plan, which is most likely been mixing it up very well, getting his takedowns. Uh, good clinch fighting. Yeah, he's got to check that. He's, I will say Robert does need to do a better job of checking those leg kicks. Yeah. Ooh, they're, they're, starting cool the, they're starting to kind of wear on him. They might be taking a little bit of a toll. He shot right away. You know, with three minutes and a half left, it should be a major decision, but um, I think it's starting to. Definitely have a tough he time walking tomorrow. One. He felt that third one. But here again, he has, uh, he has him in the clinch up against the cage in his corner again, so. Yeah, I would like to see. In a lot of the previous fights, I saw on Cliff Wright, he used those leg kicks very well. Uh, I really would have liked to see him open up with those in the first couple rounds. Uh, you know, maybe he could have took a hop out of uh, Rojas' step to kind of catch up with him. 
You know, I think coming into the fifth, while he's landed three really good ones, the amount of damage that they will take and the amount of help they could have done to him. Until you feel those leg kicks, I don't think the uh, common fan understands how uh, much of a toll they take on you. Yeah, it would start to slow him down a lot more. Good, really good change of levels. Cliff defended that pretty well. Uh, that was that was excellent takedown oh, defense. He has the body lock and now has him up against the fence. Well, Ross sees the pummel. Look for him to pummel on the left and turn in. Take Cliff back to his corner. Use the wizard to uh, get that leg out. Robert's staying really relaxed here and, uh, you know, just flowing and, and stuffing his takedown efforts. Pumbles in and now has him up against the cage. He could work his way back to his corner a little bit more. Ah, good change of good level. Good takedown. Really want to see Robert use this in the last minute and a half. Keep a hold of uh, Cliff. He's just got to stay a little weary. He is in he's, his guard. He's very sweaty. He's just got to stay. Look for Cliff will probably throw up a Hail Mary on uh, submission. Um, as long as he minds his P's and Q's, keeps his inside position, and keeps his hands off the mat, he should be fine. Honestly, with a minute and a half left, he can kind of stall out just small shots, and he won't Having him up, up against the time. cage is in his favor for sure, though. Watch for an up kick. Just be careful. Honestly, just let him up. Don't even... Smart and move. another takedown by Robert. Watch the guillotine. Yeah, he slid right off. And that's the difference between a first round guillotine attempt and a fifth round guillotine attempt is the sweat makes it a lot more uh, easier to slip your head out of there. Yeah. That's why I uh, thought Cliff would open up more with the striking in an attempt to get the, would have been an easier looking for a KO in the fifth than a uh, submission. Like with 30 seconds left, Robert's gonna win. Minimum four to one. I know Robert just wants to keep, you know, fighting tougher guys and tougher guys and, you know, working his way up the ladder. And, uh, you know, he finally got that fight and uh, he's been, uh, he came he came and uh, brought it tonight. Yeah, very good fight, fought a complete fight. Didn't make a lot of mistakes. Uh, a lot of good things from him, a lot of good change in levels, showed a real diverse game. You know, this will get him that bigger fight that he wants. You know, and his first pro title, he won numerous titles as an amateur. I remember he basically was a consensus welterweight champion as an amateur. And, uh, be his Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of professional MMA, we go to the judges' scorecards. It all three judges score them out. 50, 45 for your winner by unanimous decision. And new DC lightweight champion, Robert Tito 